Our text from the Old Testament reading today, Jeremiah chapter 33. In Jesus' name, amen. Jeremiah is sometimes called the 11th hour prophet because his ministry comes at the end of the kingdom of Judah. He's constantly telling people that the end is near. His 40 years of preaching cover the history of the last five kings of Judah. Five kings in 40 years, when you're talking family dynasty, shows a lot of instability, troubled times. Jeremiah tried to turn the people away from false belief and sin, but finally the doom he predicted came true. The temple was destroyed and the nation was carried off into exile in Babylon in 586 B.C. Yet Jeremiah also proclaims message of hope. Our text is one example of that hopeful proclamation. God will make a righteous branch sprout from David's line. The branch, tzemach in Hebrew, tzemach is a sprout or a shoot. It's a new growth from a tree or a vine. The word is used here of a new sprout or new branch from the family tree of King David. It repeats the same words that were used earlier in Jeremiah 23 verse 5. In both places it's a prophecy of hope and future blessings in the face of apparent hopelessness. In chapter 23, Jeremiah has been denouncing the bad shepherds, the political and spiritual leaders of Judah who had led the people away from God and his word. The righteous branch is a striking contrast to the current king of Judah of that day. The king's name was Zedekiah. His very name means the Lord is my righteousness or Yahweh is my righteousness. Yet 2 Kings 24.19 records that in spite of his name, this last king of Judah did evil in the eyes of the Lord. Instead of one who does evil, Jeremiah proclaims the coming of one who will do what is just and right. To do what is just or to administer justice means to be a fair and impartial judge not swayed by bribes or favoritism. To do right means to do what is right in the eyes of God, to follow God's commands. Even more than that, Jeremiah says that this righteous branch will bring salvation to the people of God. There are a number of other Old Testament prophecies that portray the Messiah as a branch or a sprout. Zechariah 3.8 I'm going to bring my servant the branch. Zechariah 6:12. Here is the man whose name is the branch, and he will branch out from his place and build the temple of the Lord. Both of those passages in Zechariah first refer to Zerubbabel, the first ruler in Judah after they would return from the exile. His name means shoot or branch of Babylon, <laughs> because that's where they were coming back from. But these verses really find their ultimate fulfillment in Christ Jesus, whose body is the true temple, the true dwelling place of God. Another passage, Isaiah 11.1, 1, a shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse, from his root a branch will bear fruit. And Isaiah 53 verse 2, maybe one that we hear uh, usually every year during Lenten time, he grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. That verse is in the middle of the song of the suffering servant in Isaiah 52 and 53. It reminds us that the first coming of the righteous branch would be in humility to suffer and die in our place to take away our sin. And again, Isaiah 4, verse 2. In that day, the branch of the Lord will be beautiful and glorious. Lots of beautiful <laughs> promises connected with this name, the righteous branch. As we hear these words about the coming of the righteous branch, we're eager 
to celebrate his first coming in the flesh. We are eager to rejoice in the good news of Christmas once again. We also await and pray for his coming again in glory, his final coming as judge of this fallen world, and to gather his loved ones home forever. Advent does this strange blending of looking backwards to get ready for Christmas, but looking ahead for the second coming of our Lord Jesus. Our Lord Jesus is this righteous branch. He did what is just and right. In Him is our salvation. This is His name. The Lord, or Yahweh, is our righteousness. That's as true for us as it was for the believers of Jeremiah's day. The Lord is our righteousness. God makes us righteous through the living and dying and rising of Jesus Christ. So in response to this promise and this good news, we pray, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.